Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Dachipali. Today I'm here with you to talk two important things that you are going to face in your life. I mean, you might feel that we are young. I don't need to bother much. So this is like your investment for your future. The two important topics are osteoarthritis and osteoporosis. So if you take care of yourself well now, you don't have to worry about it later. Let us see what these are. Osteoarthritis is the arthritis of your joints. So gradually you become crippled with it and you will have difficulty using the joints or walk around. Now how are you going to take care of that? First is make you sure you are active. Walk around. On a flat surface, anyone, even the people with arthritis can walk around until your body tells you not to do. So my suggestion is if you have arthritis also, let us say you can walk up to half a mile, make it half a mile for some days, then keep on increasing. And also you can do some simple exercise sitting down to strengthen your joints. By doing so, you're improving the nourishment of your joints, thereby taking good nutrients and the cartilage will be better. Now, many of the people are worried. They were told not to do this walking because you will you know, speed up this process of arthritis, which is not true. It is actually the other way around. By walking, you are going to lose weight. Your muscles are getting toned up. You'll improve the blood supply around the joints, carry more nutrients and the joints will be better and you can prolong this. So this is about osteoarthritis. Let us see osteoporosis. What is this? Your bone is porotic. The density is decreased. So essentially a hard bone like rock solid is gonna become like paper thin. I mean, you'll be wondering, ah, come on, this is not for me. Now, I've seen a lot of women. Recently I've operated on a lady who just slipped, was trying to hold something and broke her bone in the arm. When I was doing the operation, the bones were literally crumpling under my hand. That's how thin they are. Okay, so to prevent this, I suggest all the women to take calcium supplementation, especially after your menopause. The reason being, the two main hormones in your body won't be existent after you have your menopause. So these things that are vital for your calcium metabolism are not there. So they won't be churning out the calcium all the time. You're only left with whatever you take in and which might not be sufficient. So my suggestion for everyone is to take supplementation, which is simple calcium tablets. It can be anything. There are lots of products available in the market. Don't worry. The simplest calcium tablet is also enough. And I tell everyone either take alternate days or alternate months, something like this for nine months give a break for three months then again do alternate days or months and this is gonna you know replace your calcium in the bones make it stronger and once in a while do get your bone density checked the other important factor whatever calcium you take in should be absorbed inside so vitamin d is essential most of us indians being dark skinned we are scared of sun so you don't want to go out into the sun. You need at least half an hour of sun exposure, whatever time it is. It is ideal between 11 to 3, but probably early morning, a little bit of whatever time there is sunrise is better. And do get your vitamin D checked because it is a fat soluble vitamin. It stays in your body. Don't keep on taking the pills because if even if it's more, which is toxicity, can cause further problems. So under or over of vitamin D is dangerous. So keep checking your vitamin D regularly and take the supplementation as required. Take calcium supplementation after menopause and be active. As you're growing your age and your uh, status, your career, you become more lazier. So I want you to have some hobby, some activity, some discipline in life that you are active all through your life. All the best.